A long-standing crush on a co-worker allegedly led to a vicious sexual assault. Prosecutors laid out their case against a Department of Labor attorney who allegedly maced, used a stun gun, and then beat a female friend inside her Northwest Washington home. Stephen Cheetah has more on this story tonight. Stephen? Leanne, Paul Menina faces a number of charges related to this incident. He had a preliminary hearing today. Now, we have learned a number of very interesting facts about this case. First of all, Menina and the alleged victim had a long time friendship, more than 20 years, that it wasn't the victim who called 911, but one of her neighbors who came to her assistance, and that the victim said she couldn't remember who attacked her until several days after the incident. They worked here at the Department of Labor. He, a lawyer, on the fourth floor in the solicitor's department. The alleged victim invited the longtime co worker, whom she acknowledges had a crush on her, over for coffee. Inside her home in this leafy DC neighborhood, things allegedly turned violent. At the Department of Labor, workers find it deeply troubling. It's horrifying. Nobody's supposed to go and hit somebody and uh, you know, abuse these kind of things. Prosecutors laid out their case in court today. June 5th, Paul Menina allegedly arrived at his female friend and co-worker's home. She says once inside, Menina came up behind her, used a stun gun, maced, and handcuffed her, and beat her so badly he shattered bones in her face. He also ripped her clothing off. It's definitely creepy, but it could happen anywhere. Initially, the victim told police she did not remember who attacked her. But within a couple of days, she acknowledged it was a man she had worked with for more than two decades. I can't comment. You know, I mean, what do you think? The victim's husband was in court today. Prosecutors say his wife pleaded with Menina not to kill her. She said suddenly he ended his assault, said to her that he had lost control and left. How y'all doing? Thank you. We're doing we're doing fine. Right. We're doing fine. Several character witnesses were in the courtroom today, ready to testify on Menina's behalf. Still, the judge ordered him held without bond, at least until his next appearance, July 9th. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News.